It's now Tuesday. I keep forgetting what day it is. It is Tuesday morning. Yeah, just quarter to 12 at the moment. Just got my pre workout meal. And uh, so I didn't get to record any other footage apart from my squats yesterday. And so you guys haven't actually seen that yet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put that uh, footage over top of this right now. So. I can't actually see it, uh, but I'm just going to go from um, from memory. So, what did we do? Uh, yesterday was a, the heavy squat day, and so I was working with 97.5 uh, kilos, so around 210 pounds, maybe a bit more, uh, something like that. And you'll have to excuse the squeaking chair in the background. So, working with that, uh, doing sets of three, and so the first uh, set I was probably the first time in a while I've noticed that my form probably wasn't the greatest it was breaking down a little bit especially on the second and third reps <clears throat> uh, but apart from that I was actually really happy with uh, with yesterday's workout because the week before or the the last time I did sets of three I I was only working with 95 kilos and I only did five sets of two whereas yesterday I bumped it up and I managed to get four sets of three so I think I recorded set one three and five which you guys have seen and yeah so I managed to get four sets of three and on the last set I only got two reps uh, which you guys will see and yeah that wasn't so bad then I did drop it down um, to like 80 and then to 60 and just did as many reps as possible just to like burn out but yesterday's workout was good didn't record much other leg workout footage other than that because of that, it means that next time I do my sets of three, can finally go up to a hundred, and which is two plates, which is still lightweight, but moving up, so that's positive. Just like the bench is moving up, squats moving up. Didn't deadlift, which is probably a good idea because my lower back was killing me uh, when I got home yesterday afternoon. So yeah, I'm probably happy about that. Uh, so it's going to be from now on that I won't be doing deadlifts the day before I do heavy, heavy squats. So, that's good. Looking forward to the next set, session of uh, three reps for that. Finally up to those two plates, four reps. Apart from that, went to the dentist yesterday afternoon, which is why I didn't uh, record anything else. So I was in a bit of a rush when I was at the gym and kind of like rushed home as well. And so, went to the dentist and, which reminds me about, <laughs> you know, I've, already shown a full day of eating where I had like oatmeal multiple times and things like peanut butter for my fats and I remembered yesterday why I do all that and it's because it is easy to eat with braces because the first couple of times I got my wires replaced like um, replaced and tightened I didn't really notice it much but these last couple of times I've really noticed it pulling I guess obviously that's what it's supposed to do and it freaking hurts to be honest and trying to eat even just things like my the crackers, even like the pasta I was trying to eat just to like chew was so sore uh, and so I remember that's why I'm eating foods that are really I suppose less chewable or you have to chew less because it makes things a hell of a lot easier and uh, apart from that uh, didn't do too much else yesterday, edited up a video as usual just a quick catch up and so now it is Tuesday going to go to the gym soon, shoulders and arms, and what I'm going to do today is because I uh, did just my shoulder footage last week, I will do my arm footage today. So you guys will see that coming up soon. I'll probably do a commentary over that. I think that's all, yeah. So that's all for now, and I'll see you guys at the gym. Alright, let's crack into this commentary. I've got four minutes of footage coming up, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the arm workout uh, while I commentate over it so first time I've had a longer commentary to do so I don't have to rush through things which is good starting off with the dumbbell bicep curl what I've been doing recently uh, on both my back days and my arm days is I've been doing a heavy bicep movement as I'm really trying to bring my arms up and 
on the back day it's normally a barbell bicep curl and then arm, arm and shoulder day is a dumbbell bicep curl and what I do is I basically go anywhere from three to five reps but what I'm now doing is doing a heavy day, hypertrophy day, heavy day, hypertrophy day for my split and so chest day was the first day of the split that was heavy then back was hypertrophy, legs was heavy and so now arms and shoulders today was hypertrophy if you guys keep up with all of that so that meant that I dropped the weight from what I normally do uh, and I went, went with 8 reps on those dumbbells then dropped it down uh, and finished with 12 total reps so on my heavy days what I'll do is I'll stick with a weight I can do for about 4 to 6 reps and then drop the weight and do another 6 reps to get 12 total whereas on my hypertrophy days I'll aim to get anywhere between 8 to 12 with a certain weight and so because I only got 8 reps with the first set of dumbbells I dropped it to get the rest uh, to get the next um, 4 to get 12 total whereas if I could have managed to get 12 total with my first choice of dumbbells I would have. I hope that all makes sense anyway moving on to the next movement so I superseded the dumbbell bicep curl with some uh, close grip bench press for the triceps and again here I was working with a weight where I could only get 8 reps the first time and then dropped it down and did another force going slow on the negatives there um, because it was pretty light when I dropped it down so to get 12 total reps so that's the first superset and what I do is I do shoulder work, uh, shoulder exercises uh, in between these and so the next superset after uh, some lateral raises I think I did in between these was a skull crusher so you'll see that the first superset I started with a bicep movement the, the dumbbell curl and then that means that this movement I started with the tricep exercise which is the skull crusher and so here I chose a weight where I could do 12 total reps and you'll see that I'm doing a slight incline on the skull crusher because I feel that that puts less pressure on my elbows I had a few issues last year but uh, ever since I've been using the incline it's not so bad and then superseded that with a close grip easy bar curl so basically just drop the weight and then you know jump up off the bench go jump straight into the curl and so I was using the same weight for both I could only get 10 reps here my forearms I think were actually failing before my biceps uh, it was hard to tell though but I, yeah I only got 10 reps I decided not to drop the weight down though I just stuck with 10 reps for that uh, and now these last two exercises are sped up and this is the last superset to finish off the workout which was some tricep pushdowns again picking a weight here where I managed to get 12 reps with it these were actually some of the better pushdowns I've done recently pretty strict form and then some reverse cable curls you'll notice I'm kind of sticking my arms out in front of me uh, I feel that helps me keep my elbow in place a bit better especially at the start of the, the exercise maybe not towards the end anyway that is going to wrap up this commentary there's just a few clips left so thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys later Man, it is wet out there. Couldn't even find any Pokemon either. How boring. There was three nearby. That nearby thing sucks. Seriously, it always says there's something nearby. And there never, well there sometimes is, but that's always, they seem to like just, well, that was on an angle. They always just seem to stay nearby. Anyway, shoulder and arms, shoulder, shoulders and arms done home workout went good and that's going to wrap up this video so don't forget to go and follow me on all those other social medias they are in the description box down below I'm probably most active on Instagram and I try to be on snapchat and yeah those those are probably the two most but follow me on all of them they're down below thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I will see you all next video